So mandalas have the ability to help us heal our minds and our bodies. I mean, how on earth does this happen? And it's all to do with the comment that I've made in a previous video, which is mandalas are the language of the universe. So let me explain how all of this works. I have previously said that electromagnetic waves come into our universe and they cross at particular points, creating different types of sacred geometric symbols or shapes. Put lots of these shapes or sacred geometric symbols together and you create a mandala. Now, I always at this point liken a mandala to that of a tune that is played on a piano. So let me explain that. When you press a key on a piano, it releases a frequency which our ears pick up and detect as a musical note. Put lots of these keys, these musical notes together and you create a tune or a melody. And again, our ears will pick up these frequencies put them together and it's known as a resonance, our ears will pick up this resonance and I'm sure you've experienced this, when we pick up this resonance, it, we, sometimes we can actually react emotionally, it can change the way we feel. Obviously depending on whether it's a good tune, we feel good and if it's a bad tune then it makes us feel bad, positive and negative states. Well, mandalas do exactly the same thing. Each shape that exists, each sacred geometric symbol that exists will release or emit a frequency. Put lots of those shapes together and you emit, or the mandala emits a resonance. Now this resonance, this vibration is not picked up by our ears, but it is picked up by our eyes. And then this frequency, this resonance, will stimulate our pineal gland in a particular way. The pineal gland sits behind the nose here, or maybe uh, you have heard it referred to as the third eye, the seat of your intuition, the seat of your higher self, your unconscious, but it stimulates the pineal gland. Now this pineal gland will then stimulate the hypothalamus, which is another part of your brain. And the hypothalamus is responsible for the production of brain chemicals or what we know as neuropeptides. Now, it depends on what resonance or what message or language is held within the mandala, this will stimulate the pineal gland in a particular way, depending on what that message is. And therefore this will stimulate the hypothalamus in that particular way. And so therefore the corresponding neuropeptides or brain chemicals will be produced. And those chemicals will then flood the brain and the body. So just like with the musical notes, with the tune, if it's a harmonic tune, then positive chemicals, a positive feeling will be experienced. If it's a disharmonic, if it's a chaotic tune, then stress chemicals can be produced and therefore we react negatively. It's the same with the mandala. Positive messages, positive chemicals are produced when we observe mandalas, when we look at mandalas. So these positive chemicals are being produced by the hypothalamus they flood the brain and the body and they prime our body for positivity. So meditating with a mandala, it produces this positive environment. So these positive chemicals are flooding the mind, which obviously has a, a positive impact on how our mind feels, but also it supports the body in reproducing itself in positivity. And this is how we produce a healthy body. Now, if it's the other way, if you're listening to chainsaws or heavy grunge music or a lot of arguments or negative messaging, then negative neuropeptides are being produced and flooding the body and therefore the cells are trying to vibrate and replicate in negative environments and this is where we can see the onset of illnesses and conditions and disformities. So when we meditate with a mandala we are positively producing the brain chemicals that have a positive effect on our minds and our mental well-being as well as helping our cells to vibrate in a harmonious way which promotes that state of health and well-being, vitality and rejuvenation within the body.